Hi, I'm Steve Clemens with the New America Foundation. I'm here with Nobel Prize winner Joseph Stiglitz, who was uh, previously chief economist at the World Bank. He's become um, an obviously important economic voice uh, commenting on economic challenges that the United States and world has been facing. He's just published the best-selling book, Free Fall, America, Free Markets, and the Sinking of the World Economy. Joe, thanks so much for spending nice a few minutes here. with us. Obviously, we're in tough economic times, but what is the central, most important message you're trying to convey to the public with free fall? That there's a battle of ideas going on, and that uh, the idea that markets were self-correcting, there was no need for government, uh, that markets were efficient, those ideas were wrong. And that there's an important role for government to play. We rescue the banks. We need now to stimulate the economy and create jobs uh, and put us on the road uh, that makes our economy more competitive. You know, we're today right at the one-year anniversary of Barack Obama's administration. And when he came in, of course, uh, there was an, you know, the economic house was on fire. We had the London G20 summit set up right away. And, and, and even before he moved into the White House, his really chief consultants were some of the people who were, were very much responsible for uh, repealing Glass-Steagall and of creating at least a lot of the infrastructure that some would say helped lead us this way. This is Bob Rubin, Larry Summers. And, and I'm interested in what you have to say about that. Turning to the people who helped create the conditions of the mess, do you see it the same way? Well, one is always hopeful that people can learn from their mistakes. <laughs> and uh, so what I'm hopeful, uh, or I was hopeful, that they would recognize that things hadn't worked out the way they thought they were going to. The real issue going forward is, of course, they're going to say that they want more regulation. Mm -hmm. The question is, is it going to be cosmetic regulation or is it going to be the kinds of regulation that we really need to prevent a recurrence? So far, there's been resistance in Congress, resistance obviously based on the very strong campaign contributions, lobbying from Wall Street, from financial markets. What I find so interesting about some of this, though, is that even within the financial markets, there is a lot of unhappiness. Because what they see is that the big banks have become the big winners. Right. At the expense, the gamblers. The gamblers, at the expense of those who are providing credit, for those who are trying to check on the mistakes of the uh, of the big banks, right. those who don't come with any government guarantee, any government bailout. So it, what's at stake here is, uh, in a sense, the whole structure of capitalism. Now you, uh, we're running out of time, but you just said uh, two things today in a program in your comments with the New America Foundation that, that I found really uh, striking and important. One, you said we absolutely need a second stimulus package, but this one has to be better deployed. And you also said that we're going to be facing a wave of destimulus results and battles within states, that states are going to be left at this. And so even though the, the federal government may, which it hasn't decided to do, to, to, to do more stimulus, the states are so strapped that they're going to be pulling it a lot. And, and I'd love to get your, your quick comments on, on both of those important fronts. Well, uh, the, the, we clearly need a second stimulus. Um, the fact that when you start withdrawing the stimulus, it, it brings, weakens the economy. The states uh, are facing the shortfall of more than $200 billion in revenues from what it would be if our economy were normal. And this is employment. This is, I mean, it, it, we're talking Not also only about employment, a, lot, a lot of jobs caught there. Too. Jobs. Right. And when people are, are, are suffering, they need to turn to the services provided for, by the states. And it's also a question of the future. California has put teacher, uh, workers throughout the state on furlough two days a month. Hmm. And that includes teachers at our universities. Well, these are building our future. And uh, this furlough is only a stepping stone to laying them off and firing them. So things are going to be getting worse unless we recognize the problem and, and really deal with it. And that's an important part of what I see 
should be the second stimulus. And finally, China-U.S. economic relations. You made the comment as well that even at Columbia University where you teach and you've got operations in, uh, uh, in China that, that, that you ask, what do we get out of this? And, and, and the response was, we get much better labs over in China than we do have in the United States. And the broader comment was, we're not investing in the country. We're not investing in infrastructure in this country. We're kind of riding off the seed corn from the past. And you see China doing it differently. Are these trends really reversible? Are, are, are they really Absolutely. Or, or, do, or do we they, just They are give reversible, up? but they, we have to change our mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, when the administration and others, markets, pray for people to return to their ways of the past, uh, they get exuberant when they start going back to the shopping mall, that's a mistake because in the period before the crisis, 2007, our savings rate was zero. Household savings were zero. Clearly, we're, when we're saving zero, we're not building for the future. So what we need to do is to, to think very deeply about where we want to go and how do we get there. And that will require investments, and that means consuming a little bit less uh, than we have been in the past. We've been consuming in the United States beyond our own income. Can you imagine the richest country in the world has had to borrow 5% or more from countries that are much poorer. Mm -hmm. That's it's a sign. It's not supposed to work that way. It's not supposed to work that way. Clearly not sustainable. Well, Joe, I want to thank you. You know, this book, Free Fall, uh, which was endorsed by a lot of people in the front jacket cover, there's a great quote uh, in here by Paul Krugman calling uh, Joe Stiglitz an insanely great economist. <laughs> um, I found myself uh, not taken with insane greatness, but sober, uh, sober, real uh, read of the situation today. So thanks so much. Well, for thank you for time being here. And best of luck with this. Thank you. Thank you.